hello everybody hello friends welcome to my channel today we are going to learn how to do this cross bag you are seeing here i'm going to put you through on the cutting and the sewing of this uh, cross bag so let's get started the materials this displayed here are the materials you needed for this cross bag so write it down make sure you write it down before you start so now we are going to pick one of the leather that is two pieces so i've picked one this i'm going to measure seven inches now seven inches is what i picked so we are working on the front the other leather is going to be for the back so this is for the front so i just mark seven inches i'm going to connect it now i'm connecting the point as a straight line then I'm going to mark another 7 inches again to make it 14 inches. Remember, this leather is 18 inches. So, after marking this 7 inches, it, is, it will be 14 inches. So, we'll be left with 4 inches. Take note of that. So, I'm connecting the point. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is what I have now. So we are going to start the sewing proper now. So this is our zip. I'm going to place it. This is the right side of the lining. So I'm placing the wrong side of the zip on the right side of the lining. Then I place my leather and sew. I'm going to do same on the second 7 inches leather that we cut out. So I'm repeating same now. So on this 4 inches leather, I'm going to place it on the wrong side of the line, the wrong side facing each other and I'll sew it round. So now this is our 6 by 12 leather. I'm going to mark 5 inches. 5 inches is what I just measured now. So the next thing now is to connect it and cut it out. So after cutting it out, I pick the lining. Note, I always cut my lining to be longer than the leather. So I place the wrong side of the line and zip cloth on the right side of the line. Then I put my leather right side facing each other and we sew. So after sewing it, this is what I have now. After sewing all, oh, this is what I have. So now I flip it and top stitch it round. I will do same on this one. Also, I will flip it and top stitch it round on this also I'm going to flip it and also top stitch it round if you look at it after top stitching it round now I'm going to have excess lining so this is what I have now after top stitching it round so I'm going to work on this now first I have to cut out the excess lining so we are using the same excess lining to sew now we put that five inches we cut out we put it and sew so the four inches is what i'm sewing now the four inches leather i'm sewing it so this is what i have now after sewing it so we need to also top stitch it round here we also top stitch on the zipper side so this is what we have now after top stitching so we place it Make sure that your leather is equal or you notch it and sew. So this is it. This is what we have. So next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix the zip head. When you are fixing the zip head, make sure that the zip head is facing the same direction. The three zip heads are facing the same direction. Take note of that. So I'm fixing the zip head now. So I'm done fixing the zip heads. This is what I have now. Now, so I'm going to fold it over this way and stitch it round. Make sure you arrange it. Make sure that everything is equal before you sew. So I'm clipping it down now. 
so i'm going to sew it this way so after sewing it this is what i have now i'm going to cut out the excess in the edges so that the folding will be okay so you open it from the zipper side that's what i just did now open from the zipper side So I'm using my my scissors to push it out very well. So this is it now after it. So this leather also, I'm going to fold it over this way to get notch the midpoint. I'll also notch it on this side. So I'm going to get our small belt and also our D-ring, pass it over here and centralize it on the notch point and so. So I'm going to also centralize it on the other side of the notch point. Make sure that you centralize the belt and so. So after sewing it, this is what I have now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fold over my pocket, this one, and fold it over this way to get the midpoint. So I've indicated the midpoint. I will get the front leather also. You see the way I folded it? So I'm folding it to get the midpoint. So now I'm going to position it midpoint to midpoint. You see it? I'm going to sew it very close to that notch, that um, top stitch line. That is where I sewed it, very close to the top stitch line. So now I'm working on the back. This lining that I put on the back is optional. You can do away with it. So you sew it round. Now the right side of the back, we face the right side of the front, then you sew it back. If you put it and you have excess, you trim off the excess, but my own is okay. So after sewing it, this is what I have. So I'm going to get the remaining lining. I'm going to put it on this, on the back side, on the back side, not on that zipper side, on the back side. So I'm going to sew it now. Start my sewing from here, here, and come to this place and stop here, here, and stop here. So I've sewn it. You see, this place is open. You see it? It's open. So the excess lining, you fold it over and top stitch it on the leather like the way i just did like i said i like cutting my lining to be more than the leather so now i'm going to stitch it this way so after stitching it now this is what i have so you have to cut the four corners the way i'm doing now for you for the folding to be okay you have to cut the four corners the way i'm just doing now so now we're going to turn it to the right side you can turn it from any of the two zip just turn it to the right side so make sure you push those the four corners make sure you push it out very well for your bag to have a good shape so this is it now this is my bag you see it so the next thing is nice to sew our long strap first fix the adjuster then first you pass it through the first d ring and sew so this is it you pass it there then you pass it through the d ring and also pass it through the adjuster so just sew the long strap and our bag will be ready now so now after fixing it this way the next thing is to sew it sew it so after sewing it this is what i have this is our bag isn't it beautiful thank you all for watching to this extent if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly do so to support me bye i love you all